Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our dog sledding, sledding adventure. adventure. We are in beautiful, sunny, and cold Breckenridge, Colorado. We are putting on all of our layers because we are about to do something outside that we've never done before. Today we're taking a dog sled tour with Good Times Adventures. You may remember we've actually been dog sledding before, but this time is a little bit different. That's because this time we're going on snow. When we were in Alaska, we got to learn all about the Iditarod. I'm Alex. Um, my grandpa is Mitch Seedy. My grandpa set the record for the fastest time to know, which was eight days. 3 hours, 16 minutes, and 40 seconds. When we were there, it was summer, and we rode on a summer sled. Basically like a little golf cart with wheels. And obviously, it's not summer here. <laughs> this time, we're riding on an actual sled over snow, pulled by a team of dogs. You hear the dogs? Yeah, I do. And they're pretty, yay. They're so excited. <laughs> they have 156 dogs. Really poopy. Aww. Oh, look at how cute they both are. One. <laughs> He's like, go away, go away. Look at that, that's adorable. That is amazing. They have multiple kind of eyes. It's pretty. He's like, oh, yes. Yeah. So, how this works is the entire group is going to take turns riding behind this snowmobile and actually being pulled by the dogs. Each person will get a chance to ride behind the dogs and even drive the dogs. If dog sledding isn't your thing and you want a different type of winter adventure, they also have sleigh rides and snowmobiling. All right, so these are our lead dogs. Uh, lead dogs are important on any dog team, any sled dog team. Um, we have Portia and we have Kristoff. All of our litters have themes to them. So Portia is the rare cars litter, Portia, Lotus, Bentley, all those sorts of things. She is a wonderful lead dog. And lead dogs actually know their rights and their lefts, their G's or their paws by verbal command. Right here we have Kristoff, another go-to leader. Kristoff's part of our frozen litter, naturally. So Anna, Elsa, Kristoff. In the second row, we have two very good boys. This is my favorite dog in the kennel. His name is Rolo. He's part of our Viking litter. Each dog can pull seven to nine times its own body weight. And that's one reason dog sledding wasn't invented for tourism. It was invented during nearly the gold rush. Yeah. Um, and almost every husky we interact with in North America are descendants from the first huskies brought up in the 1800s to work during the gold rush. When we're on this dog sled, we have these runners. It's this rubber part right here. Okay, both feet are on this most of the time, okay? Our knees are bent. And when we're on trail, I'm gonna have three signals for you basically, all right? I'm gonna tell you to hike it up and let them run. This is where we're at, all right? I'm gonna ask you to slow them down. We're gonna put one foot on this foot brake, okay? And you just kind of hold it in there. If I do ask you to stop them, which we will, all right, we're gonna put both feet on this brake. And then the biggest thing about this is we're not getting off the brake until we switch. Goes back to the dogs wanting to run. People get right here and they're like, that was awesome! And then we no longer have a dog team with us, okay? <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. It's gonna be a five to seven mile ride. We each get to take turns. Sometimes we get to ride in the basket and sometimes we steer. <laughs> Our trail today is going to be seven miles long, but believe it or not, for these dogs, that's nothing. They'll get back home and wonder why they aren't going further. How are you doing? Yeah. Awesome. You see the dogs eating snow there? That's called dipping. It's how huskies rehydrate themselves. <laughs> Alright, you're driving first, right? Okay. Okay. Can you put here? <laughs> Ready for my ride. <laughs> I'm about to drive. Off the brake. Good luck. Here we go. Whee! This is not 
nice. Just don't crash. Okay. So fun. <laughs> All right, well, get two feet on that right. Good right, job. Guys. Thank you. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm gonna drive downhill through the woods. And hopefully we don't crash. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Woohoo! That is super fun! Basically, all you have to remember when you're driving is to try not to fall off, lean into every turn, and put your foot on the brake when he tells you to. That'll slow the dogs down so they don't go crazy fast. I'm the driver! Here we go! Whoa! Eleanor's on! Woohoo! Such a good job driving. What else you fun? You like it? You like going fast? Yeah, I would rather go fast. <sighs> it was really easy. I got to actually drive a dog sled on snow, which I never thought I'd get to do. It was really fun. You did so good. Yeah. You did so good. You did so good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. Bye. you <laughs> This is our team position. Oh, look at that. Whoa, that's deep. Where are you going? How are you digging a hole? Stop. You know, I never was rafted a Stop single that. time until I You're not quit being like a high that. school teacher no. and came out here to be a rafter. You're not going sideways. No. Oh. He's dug a hole. <laughs> That's the second one that dug a hole. What are you doing? Oh, it's, a, it's a toy. No, it's, not. it's not a toy. What's your name?